In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of iliotibial band pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from SpineCare in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to focus on getting quick and long-lasting pain relief for the iliotibial band, commonly known as the IT band. If you're unfamiliar with it, it originates with two muscles at the top part of the thigh. In the front, you have the tensor fascia lata, or TFL, and in the rear, you have the gluteus maximus muscle. So it's a thick band of fibers known as fascia that runs on the outer part of the leg towards the knee. It tends to get inflamed through repetitive motions that cause irritation and inflammation. And it causes pain, usually dull, achy, burning pain, on the top part of the knee, towards the outer part of the thigh, towards the hip. A lot of people try to get pain relief by directly foam rolling or stretching that IT band. It's temporary at best. If you want to get rid of it for good, you have to strengthen everything that helps support it, including those two muscles that we just talked about earlier. So I'm going to make this easy by breaking this video up into two separate parts. In the first part, we're going to focus on breaking up soft tissue tightness and adhesions over the IT band into the tensor fascia lata and also the glute max. In the second part, and this is the most important part, we're going to lengthen and strengthen those muscles to help take strength strain and tension off the IT band and hopefully get rid of it for good. All of the exercises work just a little bit differently. So go through them all, use what gives you the most amount of relief. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home. They require no special equipment and may give quick IT band pain relief, even in as little as 30 seconds. So let's get started and fix that IT band pain right now for good. In the first part, we're going to focus on a big cause of iliotibial band pain, which is built up adhesions and soft tissue tightness. This is something that I actually do a couple times a week to get quick IT band pain relief. So I'm going to start lying on my side with my painful side up towards the ceiling. Just kind of have your body in a nice straight line, have everything relaxed. You're going to have to excuse my hairy legs for this one. It's just how I was built. So I'm gonna start off by isolating the IT band. Just take your fingers and roll right on the outside of the leg above the knee. If it is pretty tight, you're gonna find it pretty quickly. I always joke and call this one the beef jerky band because it feels like a big piece of beef jerky on the outside of your leg if it is tight. So once we find that, I'm going to clamp down on it with my thumb and my fingers. Just kind of squeeze right into it, obviously only to your comfort level. The movement from here, pretty easy. I'm going to clamp down and scrape downwards towards my knee while bringing my heel towards my butt. By doing this, it helps just relax everything, isolate the IT band so you can do a nice self-massage in there, breaking up those adhesions. I just try to do this right here for about three to five times, just building pressure into it very, very slowly with each repetition. Afterwards, if you feel like it's loosening up, you can then just work your way upwards and focus on pretty much doing this from the top of the knee all the way up to the hip. What I'm going to do is really stop over any area that you feel is the most tight, painful, and achy, or just doesn't want to release. At that point, that's where you want to throw in more repetitions to hopefully get that to release. But repeat this whole process, going from the top of the knee all the way up to the hip, stopping over any spots that just need it a little bit more. To take this one to the next level, if you feel like it's just not wanting to release, you can do something called gua sha or muscle scraping. This one right here, we need a couple things. The first being a form of lubrication. I like to use coconut oil, which is a massage lotion, but you can use any muscle creams, massage lotions, anything like that. Just coat the whole area with plenty of it because you don't want friction with this one. It will make it uncomfortable. The next is going to be a large metal spoon. I like to use one with a little bit more thickness to it. You can use any part of the spoon for this technique. You can try with the handle right here, the rounded portion. Actually experiment with it. Use what works best for you. I like to use the handle. So with this one right here, I'm going to pretty much start right over the bottom of that IT band. Take your spoon and put it roughly at about 30 to 40 degrees. Press into that IT band that you're creating pressure but not causing any discomfort. The movement is pretty similar. What I'm gonna do is just take my leg right here, my heel up towards my butt, and then I'm going to scrape upwards. With this one, you always wanna scrape upwards towards the heart. And just do nice, slow, small strokes over that IT band up to three to five times. 
Afterwards, if you feel like it's doing much better, you can then move upwards or go over different spots as needed. But if it feels like it needs some more attention, just keep throwing some repetitions in there. While doing this also, you'll probably notice that redness starts to form over the top of the skin. That is completely normal. I don't know if you can see it right here over the video. That's blood flow coming into the area, which then helps promote healing. This is something also that you can do pretty much over any spot of soft tissue over the leg. You can do it over the quadriceps right here, over the knee, calf muscle, hamstring. Just avoid any bony spots like going directly over the knee or off to the side right here because that can cause irritation. But give that one a try and go over any spots that you feel need it the most. If you want to get rid of iliotibial band pain for good, you have to focus on strengthening the muscles that help support it. Since the IT band originates from the tensor fascia lata, or TFL, and the gluteus maximus, those are going to be the primary focus with these exercises. They're going to help lengthen and strengthen at the same time, but also help isolate the TFL and the glute max so you can identify the weak spots, that weak muscle, and really target the weak link, I should say. So this first one is very easy. You're just going to lie on your side with the painful side up towards the ceiling. Support your head with your hand just like this. I want my body pretty much in a nice straight line. My hips, my knees to my ankles are going to be stacked. Let's take our knees and slowly bring them upward towards our chest just like this. From there, I'm going to tighten my core during this exercise to build support, and then I'm going to take the top leg and straighten it while keeping it in line with the bottom leg. From there, I'm going to take my foot and turn it inwards, taking the toes down towards the floor as much as we can. Once we can't go any further, I'm then going to keep my leg straight and then lift up as much as I can, taking the heel towards the ceiling. The more that you go up, the more that you're going to feel the glutes fire, but more importantly, you're going to feel that tensor fascia lata right in the front part and the side of the leg right here start to fire. Really focus on feeling that. Once you do, you're going to hold this one comfortably for about five seconds. And then from there, you're going to slowly bring your leg down. Try to fight your weight right here. It's another good style of an exercise. But I just come down, take a breather at that point. On the next repetition, I try to build into it even more. I can do this one 10 to 15 times. If you feel like this one's a little bit too easy, you can take it to the next level by doing a kicking motion. So turn your foot inwards, lift up, and then take your leg forward as much as you can. You'll feel a ton fire around that TFL. Again, a five second hold, you're just going to relax and you can do this one 10 to 15 times, just building into it just a little bit more. Next, let's focus a little bit more on the glutes. So this one's pretty similar, but what I'm going to do is take my leg, or I should say take my foot inward, raise my leg up like this and then take it backwards. You're going to feel a ton fire around the buttocks. Hold this one for about five seconds. You're just going to come back, relax, and then you can repeat this one 10 to 15 times. And afterwards, if you want to make it more challenging, you can throw in another set or two, but I do recommend that whatever you do on one side to switch to the other to keep them both in balance. A main function of the iliotibial band is to stabilize the pelvis, hips, and legs, and also maintain posture through movement. So let's help take a lot of stress and tension off that IT band by building stability in those areas. These are known as star taps. I'm going to start standing. If you have a lot of muscle weakness or balance issues, I would recommend doing this next to a wall for extra support. But start with very good upright posture. Place all of your body weight on one foot. Whatever side that you're putting all of that weight, slightly bend the knee until you feel the hamstring and the back of the leg start to fire and also the glutes. During this exercise, we want to keep our toes, our knees, and our hips in a nice straight line. We don't want to go out or in. It's all about control and stability. I'm going to take my hands, place them on my hips, tighten my core for a little bit more support. So the other leg is going to go straight. I'm going to reach out with my toes and then start to tap, again, keeping this knee locked and straight ahead. You'll really feel the muscle start to fire in that bent knee side. I do this for a couple seconds and then just go off to the side and repeat. You're going to keep working your way backward, kind of like an arc, going off to your side and then working your way all the way back until you can't go any further. When you can't go back any further, just come back up like this. I try to do this for about two to three sets. You're going to notice that one certain spot, like let's say right here for me, going right into this position, is the most challenging. Either I have a lot of weakness, 
uh, a lot of pain or tightness, I try to throw more repetitions in at that point and focus on the weak links. If this becomes too easy, you can make it more challenging by putting a squatting motion in there to further strengthen those muscles. So what I'm going to do this time around, instead of keeping my knee locked, I'm going to squat downwards like this. And you'll notice that it becomes very, very challenging. So give this one a try and go through all of those motions again. If, you'll, or if you feel like one spot is just very challenging, needs a little bit more attention, throw more repetitions in at that point. If you want to focus a little bit more on the glutes, you can do what is known as a standing fire hydrant. And you're going to see here just in a second why it's called that. So let's get back into our original position. I'm just going to put all of my body weight on one side, slightly bend that knee, but the other leg is going to go bent at 90 degrees. And I'm going to abduct or take my leg away from me like this. The more that you go up, and you might want to do this one next to a wall, you can see that I am even have a little bit of a balance issue with it, is just trying to take that leg up as much as you can until you feel that glute start to fire. I hold this one for about five seconds, I just come back down like this, take a breather, and then I'm going to repeat this one up to 10 times. If you feel like you have a little bit more energy, throw in another set or two. But I do recommend whatever you do on one side to switch to the other to keep them both in balance. This exercise is known as the twisting reverse lunge. It's going to help lengthen and strengthen the tensor fascia lata, hip flexors, and the gluteus maximus muscles. All of those muscles responsible for stabilizing that IT band. This one we're going to want very good upright posture while standing. Take your hands, press them together, kind of like a prayer position, and tighten the core for a little bit more support. The movement is pretty easy. I'm just going to step backwards, lunge down like this, and then twist my body towards the knee in the front. Front. In this position right here, you're going to feel the glutes on the front leg right here start to fire. And then you're going to feel the hip flexors right here in the front part of the leg. And also that TFL really activate with that twisting motion. Really focus on feeling it over this area into that TFL. I hold this for a second or two and then I'm just going to come back up just like this. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. You want to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 repetitions on both sides. If you feel like you have a little bit more energy, you can throw in another set or two. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.